Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about 3D printer maintenance, um, specifically because I've been running my 3D printers a lot more lately than I used to. Um, they've been printing almost, not non-stop, but I mean a lot. And uh, basically that is going to be whether you should oil or grease or lube the smooth rods on your 3D printer. I know that there are certain types of bearings that are self-lubricating and supposedly you don't have to. Um, so Again, after doing a lot of research and kind of digging through forums and seeing what other people have talked about, some people do, some people don't. Um, people are using various things from, like I saw one guy using sewing machine uh, oil to various machine oils to various like um, greases and lubes and all sorts of different stuff. Um, so, what I mean, whatever you use, if it's working for you, great. Um, one that I can recommend and that I have been using is white lithium grease from Lucas Oil. Um, I picked it up on Amazon for pretty cheap. I want to say it was somewhere like in the $8 market and I mean this is enough to literally last like I mean I've got five printers now and I mean if I were to use it once a week which is way too much um, it would last me honestly years um, you don't need very much at all so I definitely recommend picking this up if you don't have anything and you do want to use something uh, because obviously there are certain situations where you will need to use some kind of grease or oil or lube for your 3D printers I mean after all they are machines and um, the one main reason why I um, personally started using something for my machines is because I started using hairspray um, as my bed adhesion and um, granted I do try my best to basically uh, make sure I mask off the area um, so that way the hairspray only makes it to the build platform there's always going to be some overspray and it's inevitable and basically over time um, I get like kind of either the smoothness or the grease from the smooth rods is gone or I can even feel like certain sections where it's sticky and um, even though again these bearings a lot of them might be self lubricating um, I can assure you that they weren't intending to have hairspray getting put in them or jammed in them um, but even if it's you don't use hairspray even after a while dust particles and just various crap from your 3d printer does get in them um, depending on you know where your 3d printer is in so basically in this video I'm just going to show you guys what I do um, I'd like to say I do it like every other week or once a month, um, but honestly it ends up being like probably once every other month just because it completely blows my like, well not blows my mind, but slips my mind. And um, this machine, the DaVinci down here, actually I was printing the other day and I saw it kind of like not able to go a certain direction past a certain point and when I went and felt on the actual smooth rod, it was completely stuck. And so all I did was apply a little bit of that on my finger and lube up the rod, which I know sounds ridiculous. Um, I like, can, can't even say it with a straight face. but. Um, and after that I was printing like a champ again. So I'm going to go ahead and change the camera up. This machine right here, the Fulgur Tech 2020, is basically time to do some maintenance on it. So um, kind of go ahead and show you guys what I do. So again, this is only going to be for the smooth rods and on this Prusa style and on most printers really. Um, you've got like three sets of them. You've got the Z, the X, and the Y down here below the bed. Um, now this is, I definitely would say don't put this on the spiral rods, this again is just for the smooth rods. Um, for the spiral, spiral rods, excuse me, I saw a couple other people talking about different things that they were using for that, so um, I may go ahead and do a different video on that depending on, um, you know, what you guys think of this video. So again, this is just the stuff right here, it's literally Lucas white lithium oil, or white lithium grease, I'm sorry. Um, it's pretty thick, so I usually take like just a literally that's probably even too much just a tiny little bit and just go ahead and make sure again you don't want to get on your belt or anything else like that just a tiny little bit and honestly like maintenance is not really one thing I think about all that often um, you know some of the things I'm thinking about like in terms of um, just making sure that my belts are tensioned and that everything else is right with the 3D printer and the bed's leveled, but um, it's extremely important if you want to have any kind of longevity, um, you know, in the life of your 3D printer. So I definitely would say, again, specifically for those people that are using hairspray, um, I would say it's a must. Um, for those of you that aren't, I guess you can kind of see for yourself um, if you take the extruder or the bed and it's not moving so well, then either, you know, it's a belt issue or potentially the rods just are not slide, sliding very smooth anymore. So basically, once I have placed it, I kind of slide the um, axis back and forth. So for this one, 
it's just the extruder. The bed I'll do separately, and then for the Z, it's a little bit harder since it's got spiral. I can't just slide it back and forth myself. I kind of have to um, do it through the either through the screen or through my repetitor host. But even just by doing that and sliding it back and forth, it gets rid of some of the gunk, like because there's obviously still too much, um, that was still too much, um, but it pushes away a lot of the crap and dirt and stuff to the side so that way you can clean it up after. But yeah, it's already sliding way smoother than it was a second ago when I first went ahead and did that. So anyways, let me know in the comments down below um, what you guys think, What if you do use something, if you don't use something, if you've thought about using something to oil up or lube the 3D printer, um, let me know in the comments down below and again, uh, I will place a link in the description to where you can get this one specifically, which again, I can at least vouch for because I've been using it and my machines are working beautifully. I mean, at least <laughs> to me, they're working very well. So uh, anyways, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. I do plan on pushing out a lot more videos. Um, basically now I'm going to be home a lot more, which I'll get into at a later time. So, uh, anyways, once again, Daniel from ModBot, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace guys.